There's a video of Joe Biden from this week that I have to show you because I think it says a lot about Joe Biden that will not surprise you, but has a lesson in it that goes way beyond Joe Biden or the White House. Let's take a look at this. Crickets, yeah, crickets. They had no answer. I did not anticipate that there'd be such a stalwart effort to make sure that the most important thing was that President Biden didn't get anything done. Think about this. What are Republicans for? What are they for? They mean one thing they're for. Now, there's a bit at the end of that that makes some sense. Republicans are generally not for much except maintaining the status quo that has benefited so many wealthy people. But in the middle of that, and this, this video I really chose for Jenk, Biden served under Obama as his VP for eight years. And he was told by every progressive in the country during the 2020 election, during the primary season, they don't love you, they're not gonna love you. Doesn't matter how many times you reach out and try to work with them or be bipartisan or be nice to them or not call them out. They want you to be destroyed and they do not want you to accomplish anything. And neither the eight years under Obama or the, like they, they have not hidden this. Mitch McConnell is not shy about wanting to be the grim reaper of legislation and more a year into his administration, he says he's shocked that they want him to fail. And that's frustrating obviously, because I don't understand how a person could have missed that lesson. But I find far more frustrating that we have continually tried to make a point during primaries that you have to advocate for your base, make the promises sure, but then fight to accomplish the goals you said you would, not waste time trying to reach across the aisle when there's no chance of it succeeding. And we were told that that was stupid. We're not being realistic, we're not being pragmatic. You need to, need to be moderate, you need to be bipartisan or whatever. And he has fallen into the exact same trap that Obama did. And in 2024, when it's Buttigieg or Harris or whoever, they're gonna make the same claims about being the one who can unify us and the one who can reach across and get Republicans to work with us. And the media is gonna lap it up once again. I, I can feel that in my bones already. Look guys, there's one piece of good news from that video, which is that um, it's no longer just progressives. Every moderate Democratic voter knows, no, of course the Republicans aren't gonna work with you. That's absurd. That there isn't a single Democratic voter in the country that stupid. It doesn't matter how much brainwashing the mainstream media has done. No one believes the Republicans were looking forward to working with Joe Biden honestly and in principle. The only people who believe that are Joe Biden and the National Press Corps. So look, the National Press Corps has tons of issues with their corruption and and their group think and they don't even under, understand that they're not really reporters, they're just in marketing. Uh, but for Joe Biden, there's no excuse and everybody knows it. I mean, if he truly believes that, he's a world class schmuck. I don't care who gets offended in DC, every one of you knows that. You really thought all of a sudden Mitch McConnell's heart was gonna warm and that the Republicans are gonna work with you on voting rights? On voting rights, when they just, there's 33 bills across the country taking away voting rights. No one is that stupid, except if you believe he's honest, apparently Joe Biden is that stupid. So sad day for him, that is the truth, that is the reality. And no one that is outside of a reporter in America would ever make the opposite case. Nobody looks at that and goes, genius. I bet McConnell and Ted Cruz turn around imminently. Joe Biden's got this figured out. So progressives have won on this. We told you the Republicans were monsters and we told you the corporate Democrats are idiots or deeply corrupt because they actually agree with the Republicans and wanna do the same exact things. But there's actually one little extra problem with their new strategy, but I wanna let Rayvana weigh in first. Yeah, first I wanna say, John, Buttigieg and Harris, don't wish that evil upon us, okay? That's, <laughs> that's coming. my it's nightmare. Coming. But Joe Biden really should have the easiest job in the world because he is selling, he should be selling policies to the American public that they already support in massive numbers, infrastructure, um, uh, healthcare, uh, things like a woman's right to choose, uh, 
all of these progressive, you know, pro progressive policy goals are extraordinarily popular amongst the American public. All he has to do is say that we want to do these things that you already support. So let's do them. But he can't even, we won't even come out publicly and take a strong stance on these things that are immensely popular because the the establishment Democrats are so beholden to their donors that they're they're afraid to come out in favor of things that people want. It's absurd. It, you really should have the easiest job in the world, and it's just failed at it completely. All right, I, I just want to tell you guys one more uh, awful thing that's going to come out of this. So since Biden's not going to do anything anymore because he didn't get the Republicans' permission and he didn't get Manchin and Cinema's permission, and he's just going to go lay down in a corner. Um, what they're going to be forced to do is market the only things that they have passed. And they passed COVID relief, but everybody now thinks that's old news. And a year from now, it'll be ancient news. Uh, and by the way, Trump also passed COVID relief. Let's keep it real, okay? So that only leaves them the infrastructure bill. And that's where Biden is going to have to pretend, you see, I could work with Republicans. I got a bunch of Republicans to sign on to that. The reason they signed on is because the corporate donors were like, mm, yummy, yummy, almost all that money goes to us. So they got a bunch of Republicans to sign on to that. So what, what's the issue there? Well, the issue there is for since Biden only has that one bill to trumpet, he is going to keep on trumpeting how great it was that Republicans worked with him on that mm. one bill, which will accidentally do tons of marketing on behalf of the Republican Party. Yeah. This couldn't get any worse. So with Joe Biden in charge, 2022 elections are going to be, if it stays on this trajectory, one of the worst defeats you've ever seen for any party in America. I agree, I think it's gonna be like 94. I do disagree though that it can't get any worse. I think there's one extra layer of how much worse it can get in that we experienced this last year. Massive wasted time. It's going to be incredibly consequential in terms of economic damage, as well as damage done to the the environment and all that. Um, theoretically, we could learn a lesson from all of this that our predictions were true. That this is no way to govern. Uh, that's obviously not going to happen. Uh, below that, maybe then it's just well, nothing is learned. But they are going to pretend that a lesson has been learned, and you've already seen it rolled out. Uh, with uh, Joe Scarborough's quote yesterday, the questions that are coming into, Trump, into Biden, which is, uh, why have you been so divisive? Why have you taken the party so far to the left? They did the moderate centrist thing, and it failed the way we said it would, and they will blame it on leftism and being too socialist and too divisive and trying too hard when that is the exact opposite of what he did. So they will take a failure and then hand it off somehow to the progressives so that they can salvage moderate Democrat like that position for the next big election. Okay, then I'm gonna say one last thing. Guys, do you now see why I'm so mad at the media? Because it's, as we just explained, it is irrefutably the opposite of what happened. He did not go too far left. In fact, he gave up on everything that was a smidge left, but the press, will paint it as if he went too far left. They're doing it now, but that's why we tell you these things ahead of time. So you can see who was right and who was wrong, who's full of crap and who's telling you the truth. And you will see going forward, the press will lie in mass and pretend that Joe Biden went too far left. That will be the narrative that they push. So when there's no refs or when the refs are fixing the game, and calling fouls on the wrong team, you, they, there's no hope. So everyone that listens to mainstream media is being brainwashed every single day into supporting the status quo, corporate rule, and 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 is being told the exact opposite of what's true. Yeah. Now, do you? By the way, one last wrinkle to that. Now, do you see why the right wing lost their minds? Because they said they looked at the mainstream media and said, "Well, that definitely isn't true." So I gotta go try to find truth somewhere else. Unfortunately, that, that, that led them to a dark forest full of way worse lies, right? But I can see the initial frustration because the media will always tell you that corporate politicians are wonderful, honest people. And if you ever try to do anything for the American people, mm -hmm. 
you're terrible and you went too far left. And how dare you try to give them health care or higher wages? You ruined it by trying to help Americans. Go back to helping corporations. Well, that's not press or media or journalists. Yeah. That is a very effective brainwashing program done by corporations. And who are the people who do that? They're the so called journalists and the media organizations. They are multi billion dollar corporations. So wake up. They're lying to you, snap out of it. And if you're on the left or you consider yourself a Democrat, hold your own politicians accountable. That doesn't mean go vote for fascists. It means let them know we're not gonna put up with your crap anymore and your lies anymore. And by God, vote in primaries. For God's sake, vote. If you're angry, the one thing I'll agree with Jen Psaki on is funnel that anger into voting, but voting against them. But not in the general election when you hand it to Mussolini. Do it in the primary, get their corrupt asses out of there, put in uncorrupted progressives who don't take corporate PAC money and who don't serve corporations as their masters. If you vote for establishment Democrats, all you're ever gonna get is purposeful failure so that they can maintain the status quo. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.